Jaina! You asked for it. Class is in session. I don't think I need a steel beetle against mage. If I can get to turn 10, Ferris Sleuth is pretty insane. I guess with this hand I can cheat 3 mana, so I only need to get to turn 7. Turn 7 is quite reasonable. Uh, he didn't play a quest on turn 1, so I guess he's not quest mage. Okay. Quest mage is kind of scary. I'm not sure if I'm scared of any other archetype. I'm guessing this is probably some sort of Reno deck. Should probably still be playing the quest, though. That's a fine draw. Ultimate Infestation. That does make the King Ferris look quite a bit more appealing. So if I play this here, I'll be on 8 next turn, so I might want to play this next turn instead. Let's try to draw into some good Ferris cards. That's not one of them. Oh, that one's good. Okay, we might be playing Ultimate Infestation next turn. So I'm going to have 9 cards in hand. I'm going to go Kael'thas, Innervate, Jade Idol, Ultimate Infestation. So it looks like I might overdraw 1. Which means I could just play the Jade Idol here and then go for Biology Project next turn. I think I like shuffling here, since I'm going to be drawing a lot with Ultimate Infestation next turn. And, like, drawing into... Oh, interesting. Drawing into Jade Idols with this thing in play is not bad. This is kind of concerning, though. Oh, 7-5. No longer concerning. So yeah, like, I could draw two Jade Idols here and then still cheat something else out. Uh, I didn't really draw something worth cheating, but I guess I can just make some Jade Golems. What even was this? Turn 6? Seemed like a decent turn 6. I can play this guy next turn, but my hand does not look great for it. I would probably have to draw an ultimate infestation or an overflow to justify that. I assume Pyroblast is probably the only thing he has. Wow, another 7-5. Yogg has to be the worst 10 drop by a lot, right? Off of Spiteful Summoner. Okay, whatever, I'll play this. So sick. I mean, I still put quite a few stats in play here. What is this? 14, 16 worth of stats? Oh. He's trying to yog me? Oh, surrender to madness. 
Surrender to Madness is probably pretty good, since he still has so much mana, given that I biology projected him. Wait, how the heck did he mulch, I guess, is probably how I got this. Oh, this thing's not a demon. Well, I can play another Ferris. It's definitely not incredible with this hand, but whatever. Get some stuff in play against a deck that can't really play AoE. This was much worse than the first one. What if I just poison seeds? No, it makes most of my minions worse. So in Wild, that can get Explosive Runes, Duplicate, Effigy. Doesn't really sound like I'm too scared of any of those. This makes a 4-4, that's not bad. I do have, like, a gloop poison seeds thing here, but I don't have anything to spend the mana on. So... I guess I won't do that. Let's see if this works. It does work. Okay. These steel beetles are kind of letting me down. But I do have six activators in deck still. Your power limitless. Tonight, a tale of long lost worlds. My food and spear. Hey, ultimate infestation. Well, that activates my beetles, but playing it probably also activates my beetles. I could play Gloop just to get the card out of my hand, but that's probably not good. I think I'd rather overdraw. As long as it's not Yogg, overdrawing's fine. I guess I could just play this. It only gives them one mana. Yeah, that's fine. So I only need to hero power once more for this toxic reinforcements. I can do something cute where I turn my leper gnomes into tutus. So this could definitely be a Poison Seeds turn. I do kill two things that are buffed by Surrender to Madness. But like, what if I just gain a bunch of armor and don't do that? Oh, speaking of a bunch of armor. Oh, wait, this activated. I definitely should have traded something off first. Oops. Don't judge me. I should have just not hero-powered here, maybe. 
because now I can't do my cute poison seeds thing. Pocket galaxy. I would be mad that neither of his summoners hit pocket galaxy, but seven drops are pre probably better than the seven fives he got anyway, so I'll take it. Wait, so everything in his deck costs one mana and has plus two plus two? Or Sinner to, I think Sinner Madness is plus two plus two, right? Yeah. Wow, that's pretty insane, actually. The of life is over. I think I like taking Poisonous Guys here. He does... Uh, like, he can just Hero Power one of them. But he can't hero power both. And 1-5s don't really seem particularly great here. Wow, crowd roaster. There's my Yogg Saron. I like saving Yogg. I'm greedy. Whatever. This Yogg has got to be pretty big at this point. I think I kind of like dumping my hand with the Yogg though, so that I can draw cards. Because drawing into Jade Idols would be pretty good. I wonder if he's playing like a Reno deck that plays two Spiteful Summoners. I haven't seen any dupes so far otherwise. Okay, that's a second Twilight Drake. Um, probably just Poison Seeds plus Spreading Plague here. I do still have an overflow in the deck as well, so can potentially use that to draw into like five jade idols in a turn. Well now he's just trying to make me look stupid for saying it could be a Reno deck. I can Starfall here. This would be a 5 health. I could kill it. What if I Starfall this for 5? Hit, hit, two things would have died. So then I could play, like, Gloop and another Plague, right? The Plague would get me three one fives. That doesn't seem great. What if I just play another plague anyway? And I've got a Jade Idol in the deck, so I'm probably just gonna make some stats. Could be like a Flame Strike or something. Not that worried about a flame strike throw since I am at 52. And flame strike doesn't even kill most of my stuff. Okay, now I'm scared of flame strike and even blizzard. Arcane explosion. Sure. All right, might be time for Mr. Yogg Saron. Or it could be Poison Seed Starfall. Eh, it's probably Yogg. Uh, this guy is scary, so we'll kill him. 
I somehow got a lot of mana. Oh god. There's a yog in my yog. Oh, this. Wait, no, those give me empty crystals. Sick, I got a wisp. Potion of Polymorph is probably pretty good in this matchup, actually. Looks like I probably ended up the Cowlick Ghost in play or something. Because I can play the Overflow, but not the Etten. Or I guess maybe my board is just full. Okay, hurry up, animations. I don't know what happened. Oh, I played a, a glorious gloop. Okay, Yogg, settle down, buddy. <laughs> you've you've done enough. All right. Okay, Yogg, we're good. Hopefully he kills three of my Wisps so that my Shadows can give me Treants. Otherwise, they're just going to be wasted and then I'm going to look silly. Oh, that's a pretty good secret. Dealt nine damage. Well, I do have a branching paths here. So, this is 10, 14, 17. Branching paths is definitely lethal. Shadowverse. This is Hearthstone. How'd he get all the way to rank 3 without realizing? This is not a good hand. But assuming this is the mirror, we have a few turns to get things going. I'm not actually sure that it's good to just play the first Jade Idol like this. Because a lot of times with this deck, you do just have to accept that you're going to overdraw a card. So, like, if I happen to overdraw the second Jade Idol, this is quite a bit worse. Well, I guess that's not a concern. I'm also not sure that shuffling here is correct. Because I don't particularly want to be drawing Jade Idols right now, but I do like getting the card out of my hand, especially when I have an Overflow. So next turn, do I want to Innervate Overflow? I'm going to have seven cards in hand. I would just have to overdraw a card at that point. I lose 
I think that's fine. Maybe I should have just burned a Starfall this turn. I can do that next turn, though, if I really want. Maybe I'm not even playing Overflow next turn. Maybe I'm innervating out King Ferris. There's no way Spreading Plague is a good card in this matchup, right? I play Bio Project here. I can play King Ferris next turn, but giving my opponent mana seems kind of bad. Although he does have a lot of cards in hand, so like even if I ramp him into Ultimate Infestation, I don't know how strong that really is. I'm not that excited to play King Ferris anyway, though. I need to do something. So many contradictions. I guess I'm overflowing. I gave the opponent mana, but whatever. Well, I have... Poison Seeds, Starfall with gloop so poison seeds is going to give me 10 mana i didn't even notice that but giving him a coin is fine actually I think I might have missed a hero power here. So I did just kind of dump my whole hand, but I cleared his Ferris board and made two Death Wings. He can obviously have his own uh, Poison Seeds, but the earlier I go off with the Ferris, the less likely he is to have it. My thoughts are plagued. What did I overdraw? Probably should have been paying attention to that. Oh, Spreading Plague. Uh oh. I mean, he's probably not playing Poison Seeds here. He's leading with the Kael'thas. Sure. He's gonna overdraw some here. He only overdrew one. He's gonna rope before he runs out of mana. Oh, he healed my Deathwing. Thanks, buddy. Well, I can't even use my Kael'thas here. So sad. Next turn I can do some pretty nasty Kael'thas stuff. What are the decks looking like? 9 to 11? Oh, 
All right, let's see if my Kael'thas is better than his was. I have 10 cards in hand. I don't mind shuffling some of these to draw with ultimate infestation. Then I guess just making another one is good. Maybe I should've just played Spreading Plague because of Poison Seeds here. That was probably better. Oh, no Poison Seeds. Okay. Okay, I've got 10, 25, got 26 damage. Twenty-six plus twelve. So many I'm almost 100% sure I'm getting poison seeded here. So like playing spreading plague probably doesn't make much sense. This doesn't kill him, but it's a shitload of damage. Like, even if he has Poison Seeds here, he's played both Starfalls. So he needs, like, Poison Seeds plus Plague. Which, I mean, it's not like it's unreasonable for him to have that here. I don't think playing Yogg here makes much sense. Oh, he's playing King Ferris and Ysera. That's pretty scary. Fourteen cards in deck, half of them are portals. I could just do nothing here and try to make him burn some portals. Is that unreasonable? I don't think that's unreasonable. It's kind of weird shuffling my last Jade Idol. But I think I'm probably playing Yogg soon, and very often Yogg draws a bunch of cards. So I like just having the Jade Idols in the deck, and then I can draw a bunch of them with Yogg potentially. This is really bad for me that he drew exactly one portal this turn. Alright, so he still has seven minions in play, which means he can still burn a bunch of portals here.
Two portals. Let's go. Only two. But he can't even kill his guys on board, so I can just pass next turn as well if I really want. What is the next turn going to be? Still about half his deck as portals. Could have buffed his guys. Alright, show me some portals. Yes. Yes. Alright, so I got him to overdraw four of his seven portals, right? That's really good. Of course, now he can do some pretty de degenerate stuff here. It's possible that this little game I was playing was not worth it, and he's just gonna murder me with jade golems now. Like, I might be viewing this too much as value being relevant and not enough for tempo. The problem is that I don't really feel like I could have made much of a tempo push myself. Alright, I think it's Yogg time. He might just die here. And he's dead. Cool. Doesn't necessarily mean I played those last few turns correctly, but he died.